Sit back and watch step-by-step -step how we upgraded our RV's bathroom fan from this to this. If you're replacing or installing a ventilation fan, this video shows you everything you need to know to do it right. If you're replacing an existing unit, the first thing you need to do, of course, is remove the old unit. Start by unscrewing the vent sealing flange. Then you'll want to disconnect the electrical. Most likely, the fan is on a circuit with other lights, so put the wire nuts back on the RV wiring until you're ready to hook up the new unit. If there is no pre-existing wiring, you can tie into the ceiling light near the install opening. More on that later. For this demolition, these nuts need to come off to remove the brackets holding the protective cover over the vent lid. Now you'll remove the nuts that secure the cover to the bracket and then remove the brackets and cover. Next, you need to find all the screws that secure the fan unit to the roof and be sure to remove all of them. Jeff used a drywall knife with rounded corners to avoid damaging the roof membrane while scraping up the sealant. Using a heat gun, if you have one, will make this go way faster and aid in efficiency. Ours was on the fritz, so we went old school. It's a good idea to do a final wipe down with lacquer thinner to remove any sealant residue. This will ensure that you get the best possible seal. Measure your opening and the flange of the fan unit, then make marks around the opening to get it centered. Do a test fit with your guide marks, then trace the outline of the flange. And it never hurts to double check that it's centered around the opening. Make sure that where you'll be putting your screws will actually go into the wood. We were somewhat surprised that there was actually a handful of screws on the previous unit that were at an angle and weren't even hitting any wood. We recommend pre-drilling all your holes before applying the butyl tape to prevent contaminating that seal. Wipe away all the shavings and debris from drilling, then apply your butyl tape to the flange and make sure that the screw holes will be covered.
for good measure, give the roof surface one final wipe down before pressing the flange into place. Now you're ready to set your screws, but be careful over tightening can cause the flange to crack. Now this unit has a compatible protective cover option available, but since we're reusing our old one, we'll just need to modify the cover to accommodate these mounting tabs. We're reusing the brackets and hood that were over the existing vent and to modify it to fit this I'm going to be removing and the drilling screen. holes in the side so that I can mount the brackets to this fan and I got to remove these four screws. Now we can clearly see that the areas where we'll be drilling through from the outside, we won't be hitting any important components. close to the top of that are we? Right there. Are we going to be able to get a nut on it? I don't think so. Alright so I'm going to reduce the size of the hole on the other ones. It just so happens that this hole lines up perfectly with our glue line. Oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw another one in there just to make it nice and secure. Well, yeah, then these brackets are in the meat, not just on this plastic. Exactly. Okay, we'll get our cover reinstalled. And we can hook up our wiring, black to hot and white to ground. This is a new install. You're not just replacing an existing one and you need to run wiring. You can tap into a light that's nearby. So just run your black to this and tie it in here. Run your white to here and tie it in there. And then just have it so that it tucks back up inside of the ceiling.
That is so quiet. That's full blast right there. So ceiling flanges tend to come longer than you might need. So we'll need to trim All ours right. down. Roughly two and a half inches. Two and a half here, two inches. So four on the low side, four and a half on this side. We could just cut it at four all the way around. Be down there. I could do that with the table saw and make it nice and clean. Some self-leveling lap sealant gets applied to preserve the screws and further prevent leaks. And then our vent cover gets reinstalled. This concludes our video on how to install or replace a vent fan in an RV. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button we also have plenty of other RV DIY repair and makeover videos, so subscribe and check out our channel so that we can continue to bring you helpful content. Plus, you don't want to miss out on our crazy family of eights adventures and future giveaways. Thanks for your support.